Nellie, come here. Nellie, come here. Nellie, come here. That's a good girl. Nellie, come here. Oh my goodness, like a million dollars, like a million dollars. Having a reliable recall with our dogs is critical for our control and for their safety. The actual command is unimportant. Most use one word commands like come or here. I use both, come here. I always say the dog's name first to get their attention and then I give the command. And when I'm in the field later and I wanna change directions, normally just calling the dog's name is all that's needed for me to get them hunting with me. Training initially takes no, place in an enclosed area with few distractions where I there teach the girl. dog with treats. And then when the dog has a thorough understanding, no, I enforce the command by overlaying the e-collar. The collar is introduced as a form of low level no, pressure here. and the dog learns that the pressure is released and later avoided oh, entirely by quickly complying with the command. The goal is first time obedience, so don't repeat the command unless the dog is clearly shown that he's not gonna obey the initial command. I try to never sound angry when giving the command, even if they've refused the first, second, or third time when they're first learning that compliance isn't optional. And I always show lots of praise and enthusiasm every time they have fully complied. And your command should mean come to me, not near me or past me, and then stand by me. So don't let them decide when to leave you after complying with the command. They're to stand there and wait for you to release them. And to encourage that, you just rub and pet them and praise them. Like other forms of dog training, train incrementally to improve the distance that your dog will recall to you and the level of distractions that your dog can be called off to recall to you. So let's watch first a nine month old pointer that's had very little socialization and was rehomed after her 70 year old owner with 30 other dogs hey died unexpectedly. And then we'll watch a started dog that has already had some of the introductory lessons, but that needs more work to be reliable. There we go. Not gonna use it today, but I want you to get used to it, right? Put it up above her normal ID collar. All right, let's go. Let's go Nellie. Nellie, come here. Look what I got. Yeah. Let's go. Nellie, come here. There you go. Nellie, come here. That's a good girl. Nellie, come here. There it is. Good girl. Nellie, come here. Nellie, come here. Good girl. All right, let's go. Nellie. Nellie, come here. Yay. Good girl. Nellie, come here. Yay, yeah, hey, good girl. Good girl, all right. Let's go. Nellie, come here. Oh, what a good girl. All right, let's go. Are you still eating? Nellie, come here. Yay, good girl. That's a good girl. One more, you ready? All positive stuff here. Nellie, come here. Good girl, that's a good girl, sweetheart. I think it's a good place to stop for day two. <laughs> So today is gonna to be Nellie's first uh, workout with the e-collar overlaid with the uh, verbal command that she already knows. Uh, got the collar up, kind of tight, a little snug. You can get a couple fingers 
and it's up high. That way it's not kind of dangling down or anything. And we're going to try and find a, a level that works well with her. I got an old uh, Tritronics Pro 500. So you just start low and you just kind of work your way up and you look for just some kind of recognition. Uh, you know, normally they'll turn their head or something. So let's just see how she reacts with the one. Hey, sweetheart. That's a low one. Hey, what's up? What's up? Low two. He's so sweet. Oh my goodness. Well, she stopped there. What do you think? Try a low three here, see what happens. Oh yeah, that's that's a little that's a little hot. That's a little hot. Let's do the two. I think you felt the two, okay? So let's get a couple uh We'll just get a couple reps in here. Just a reminder what we've been doing. Nelly, come here. Oh my goodness, you're so good. Isn't that good? Nelly, come here. Oh, what a good girl. And I'm gonna start with the stimulation slightly before I give the command and uh, I'll turn it off either when she gets to me or maybe we'll just see how she does if we'll just, uh, and it varies from dog to dog, uh, if after she commits I can turn it off and she continues to me, well then, then, then that's going to be sufficient. And I'm going to need a, what hands do I have here? You ready? You ready girl? Nelly come here. Nelly come here. There we go. I did a poor job of showing that, but basically I put the stimulation on and she just, she kind of froze. And that's why we use the, the check cord. If she were to bolt and then I, you know, would have no choice at that point, but to turn the stimulation off, what have I communicated? I've communicated, oh, well, if you run away, that's how you get the stimulation to turn off, you know? So uh, let me try it again here. Stimulation. Nelly, come here. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Nelly, come here. Nelly, come here. Nelly, come here. Oh, what a good girl. What a good girl. Okay, so there, the check cord also had the advantage of I was able to physically get her started to me when the collar caused her to kind of freeze up. Stem. Nelly, come here. There we go. What a good girl. My goodness. Nelly, come here. Nelly, come here. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, dear. Let's go. Nelly, come here. There it is. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Nelly, come here. That's my girl. That's my girl. All right, let's go. Nelly, come here. There it is. Oh, goodness. What a good girl. You're not going to bolt on me, are you? I don't think you need this. I don't think you need this. All right, let's go. Good girl. Nelly, come here. <laughs> Nelly, come here. There it is. That's all you got to do. You got to come to me and then you got to stand by me. All right, let's go. Nelly, come here. If you agree that Nelly has made a lot of progress with her first exposure to training, please like and subscribe. Oh my goodness, like a million dollars, like a million dollars. All right. Nelly, come here. Come here. Nelly, come here. Nelly, come here. I think you were, Nelly, come here. Nelly, come here.
Come here. I think you were shining me. I think you were shining me. Now for a dog that gave you a lot of difficulty, I'm gonna turn her loose. I'm gonna give her about 10 or 15 steps. Then I'm gonna call her right back to me. All right, let's go. Nelly, come here. Nelly is doing a good job. So please continue watching this 13 month old started dog. You can see from this first session that he's had some recall work done with an e-collar, but he's far from reliable. So more work is needed. Elvis, come here. Oh my goodness. What a good boy. All right, all right, let's go. Come on, let's go. Elvis, come here. Good boy. That's a good boy. Elvis, come here. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. All right. All right, let's go. Come on. Elvis, come here. Good boy. What a good boy. Elvis, come here. Oh my goodness. What a good boy. What a good boy. Now I just turned him loose in my three fenced acres. And this is the first time we've worked on this drill. How about if I pick a time when he's kind of coming back to me anyway? Elvis, come here. Elvis, come here. That's a good boy. All right, good boy. All right, let's go. And here means come to me, stand by me, and do not leave until I tell you it's okay to leave. Elvis, come here. Elvis, come here. Good boy. <laughs> That's a good boy. All right. I called him to me, gave him some stimulation, looked like he was going to come, and then he veered off, gave the command again, and then more stem. Elvis, come here. Stem. Medium. Elvis, come here. Huh? Elvis, come here. Stem. Elvis, come here. Come here. That's a good boy. Oh my goodness. That's a good boy. I love you. Good boy. All right, let's go. Let's go. I didn't immediately go to a three high there. I walked my way up. I gave him a three low. He didn't respond. I gave him a three medium. He didn't respond. And I gave him a three high and he actually went vocal on me. But these are not uh, options. These are commands. Commands that may save his life one day. Let's try him again, see if he's not doing a little bit better. Elvis, come here. Low three. <laughs> That's a good boy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go. And you want to have plenty of time between reps too. If you just call him every time he's 25 feet from you, he'll get what we call sticky, which means he just doesn't want to leave your side. Elvis, come here. Elvis, come here. That's a medium. Elvis, come here. Good boy. Elvis, come here. Elvis, come here. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. All right. 
same deal i walked my way up low three medium three and then i nicked him with a high three maybe it is why he didn't go vocal on that he came by me he didn't come to me and so that's when i and then i was able to go back down to a low three and get him to respond Try it again. Elvis, come here. Oh my goodness. You're so good. To start out, I'll wait till he's kind of coming towards me. Elvis, come here. Oh my goodness. Good boy. That's a good boy. All right, let's go. Elvis, come here. Squat down. Oh my goodness, you're a little less intimidating. Love on him. Oh my goodness, what a good boy. All right, let's go. Elvis, come here. That's a good boy. That's it. But be prepared for setbacks whenever you go to a new place or there's a new distraction. But work through those scenarios exactly as shown here. And since I was still teaching the recall command, I use stimulation with every verbal command. But in time, the stimulation can be eliminated. However, always run your dog with an e-collar. That way you can enforce the command for your control and for their safety. And if you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment.